Good evening and welcome back. Hopefully you did watch the last video where we absolutely thrashed Real Madrid 6-1 at the Bernabeu. Brilliant performance. And Baka scoring one of the best goals, not just of the season, but probably of the career so far. And today is the last match of December, which means that the January transfer window is just around the corner. You can see lots of flashing ups there. We're going to jump into the match. So away to Sevilla today. Like I say, off the back of that magnificent performance against Real Madrid. Absolutely smashed them. We actually let the, the one goal in that they scored with the last kick of the game and it wasn't deserved but what a performance and we're now seven points clear in the league ahead of Real Madrid and Baca god the goal he scored if you haven't seen that match it's worth watching the full video anyway because there's some great goals and some great passing but the Baca goal he ran up halfway through the pitch solo run and absolutely smashed it in from 25 yards beating Donnarumma who's like I said in that video technically he's the best keeper in the world on this game yeah, I think he's 94 rated so yeah great performance and we've got the January transfer window coming up which I'm looking forward to because we get the likes of Messi coming back Debushi coming back which will help the right back position also got the uh... oh, hang on here's Mudrick Mudrick oh, wide also got regens that'll be coming through so there'll be some coming through in our youth squad and then some through other teams so i'll be checking out who are the new youngsters is there anyone worth going for i'll have to wait and see nice tackle from Vieira there he gets it back oh it's a nice ball eyes oh, offside and it was intercepted anyway just offside one bit of news i'm not really sure what to do is we have got a bid in for herrera um and then i did renegotiate it for more money not accepted it but just thought well I'll take uh, you know i wanted a bit more money if i was going to accept it i think they offered 13 million initially and then i upped it to you know 15 million and something hang on here is Castro, 1 0. He was falling over, but he kept his composure and slotted it away. And Zergsy playing on that left hand side. He's done well over there. He's played there a couple of times. And I don't know why I haven't tried him over that side more often. Nice ball in. Just slips over. I'm not sure why it happens sometimes in this game. And Mudrick's got the armband today because Martinelli's not playing. And he does have that, I think it's virtuoso uh, trait, or role rather. Which means that if you're captain when you've got that role, the other players get a small experience boost for matches. So that's why we do that. But yeah, we then said, well, no, we'll accept 15 odd million. Um, and they've come back and they said, okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll pay 15 whatever it is, 15.2 or something. Um, I think its market value is... Hold on a minute. He's played... The referee's played on for a long time there. Um, I think technically his market value is 17 million or it might be 16 and a half. So we're pretty much... Ooh, Great tackle from Pedri. Just about to get a shot away. Oh, that's a really decent ball through to Xerxes. Needs a little bit of help here. And he gets it. Pedri to Mudrick. Oh, what a strike. Lovely flow and move. But what a finish that is from Mudrick with his left foot. It's a lovely ball over the top to Xerxes. Who plays it back in to Pedri. That's a lovely ball. One touch and fired in. Probably the opposite corner than what the keeper thought was going to go. First time ball from Pedri. One touch. Smashed in. What a play Mudrick's been. But yeah, anyway, going back to Herrera, that's about the money that we would accept. It's a, it's a good amount of money. I'm not going to worry about a million here and there. That, that doesn't really matter. We've got like 100 and odd million in the in the bank. 
Um, a lot of that's going to be going towards the Pedri permanent transfer. I think that's about 60-odd million, 68 million or something. Um, it's just whether do we want to sell him? Um, not really, but at the same time, looking at his growth graph, he is going to start declining potentially next season or maybe the season after. He's certainly not going to grow anymore. Um, so if you're going to sell him now is the time to do it um, so I may do oh, nice play Zirkov Pelny did he get the ball he got a lot of the play I know that whoops <laughs> I don't think the keeper really wanted that ball there oh lovely work from Pedri through to Xerxi <laughs> 3-0 that is a lovely finish. Calm finish along the ground. Pedri with another assist. Nice play there. Around the defender. Calm as you like. Nice little ball. Lovely finish on the ground. It's the hardest place for a keeper to save is down low. It takes longer to get down low than it does uh, you know, diving up, for example. And remember that we've already sold Cousins now. He will be going in January. So that's, a, that's potentially, if we do sell Herrera, that's two fairly key central midfielders that will be selling. Now, they're not first choices. They're not, you know, if we were going to pick a starting 11 out of all of our players being fully fit and all on the same condition, they would not be in the starting 11. It would be Pedri, Vieira, and probably Bellingham. Maybe Kang and Lee could be in there as well, in place of potentially Vieira, for example. They're very good players. They get a lot of game time because we do rotate a lot. And Herrera is... He's been there from the start. He's Himself and Vieira were the two signings we made. They were the first two signings and they've been key to the team. They are the spine of the team, along with Schubert. We've got Schubert, Herrera and Vieira. And they've been fantastic. Um, and it's, it'll be sad to see him go. I really... And it's just a game and it's just a player. Players move on all the time. But... It's a shame that he's on the decline very soon. If he wasn't, I wouldn't sell him. Even if he was going to be stagnant for like three, four, five years, I would love to keep him. Because he's very dependable. He's got a very good shot on him as well. Probably doesn't score as much as maybe what he should, but... Anyway, here's Vieira. Ooh, nearly cut inside there. Mariba wins it back. Mariba, he gets tackled. Got a few minutes left to half time. Got to be careful. Don't want to get hit on the counter attack. Just trying to keep the ball, trying to be patient, trying to find my way through. 6 8. Oh, that was a decent chance. That was a perfect cross. I, I'm not quite sure why Zerxi he didn't get his head on it. He should have. It wasn't too high. He almost went forward a little bit too far. Nice ball to Mudrick. That was Zerxi. Pedri gets it back. Nice ball in. Couldn't quite get in it. Pedri. Ooh, the swerve on that shot. And that should be half time. Great first half. And all of the front three got on the score sheet. Pedri with a couple of assists. 
Could I see Xerxes working well over on that left hand side? It's another option that we've got. Nice little pass from Vieira there. Now Trippier on the overlap again. That'll be a corner. But yeah, that Herrera situation will probably have to decide after the next match. The transfer window will open. We'll see what sort of regens are available. I'll probably make a decision from there. That's a foul. Oh, dangerous area here. Trippier on the ball. This is perfect for him. Hits the wall though. Just needs to be that touch more on the power bar. And then if you go slightly over, it just goes miles over the bar. Like if you put a tiny bit too much on the power, it just absolutely skies over it. Very fine margin. We'll jerk in here. Oh, nice play. Gets Xerxy in, but there's defenders there. Wonderful play from Mudrick. Don't know how he got the ball through. He was getting shirt pulled and pushed around. Oh, nice tackle from Lovato. Mudrick could be in again here. And he is. It's the first time that's come to be held. Well, um... We'll look to make some subs once the ball goes out. We're going to bring on Herrera and Cousins in midfield in place of Marie Ben Fabio Vieira and Joaquin on place of Trippier just to give him a bit of a rest. Here they come on. Herrera and Cousins. This could be the last games. It's definitely Cousins' last game. Could Herrera be out the door as well? This could be his send off. Two magnificent players for the club, but like I say, especially Herrera, been here, well, as long as it could be in that first transfer window. Here's Castro and Mudrick with space, but the ball's just ahead of him. Oh, he wins it back, though. Tries to chip the keeper. Oh, that's just wide. What a wonderful finish that would have been. Castro ball was a little bit too far on Mudrick's. You know, his energy's a little bit down now. Doesn't quite have the pace he had in the first half. I was going to say that was a good tackle, but they get it back. And here's Joaquin, the youngster, regen. Well, that's got to be a foul. Of course it's not. And they absolutely side them down. And they get a bloody free kick for absolutely nothing. Uh, these referees are so shit. I don't like complaining about it. I know I often do. Anyway, Mudrick now. Ah, it's too far for Castro. Ooh, Castro's in here. Wins it back. Back to Mudrick. That's blocked. Now oh, Xerxes blocked again. Well won by Cousins. Castro, what a strike. And Cousins, on his last appearance, has got an assist. What a way to have your send-off. Sean Tenassi here winning the ball back, staying calm. Really nice ball to Castro, but this is some finish from him. There's no keeper in the world that's going to stop this one. It's in the roof of the net, top corner. First time strike. Great goal. Lovely to see Cousins involved. And again, another player that it's not necessarily like I want to lose him, but he's just not going to go anymore and he's going to fall further and further behind other players. Here's Xerxes. Oh, good strike. Surely he's fouled there.
tackle. Now Zirkov. Zirkov. Wow, what was that? I mean, that was more than ambitious. That was uh, wasteful. But just over 10 minutes left. It's 4 0. Very convincing game. Can we get more? Can we keep a clean sheet? I'd say it's probably more important. Sixty went in the back. Well done from him. Really well played. Costa new playing at four to Castro. And that's a foul. Please, no more injuries. I don't. Yeah, it's definitely a yellow. Do we have a shot here? Oh, it took a. Uh, should be off, didn't it? No, let's not go for a shot. It's probably very um, too ambitious anyway. Six eight. Ah, just a uh, bit of a heavy touch going backwards. Got him caught out. They were very lucky there, but we've kept the pressure on and it's paid off eventually. What happened there? His body's flying in everywhere. Comfortable save. They do not deserve a goal. They've been very poor. Obviously, we've been very good, but they don't deserve any sort of consolation out of this game. Here's Mudrick. Oh, really nice ball in there. Just couldn't quite get to it. And that may be full time. And it is. Very good result there. Great performance. Castro with a double. Great all-round ratings, apart from Lovato who got a 5.5, a minimum of 6, even the subs there, Kusun's getting a 7. Great way for a send off him, getting an assist, getting a stand innovation at the end there. Castro with man of the match, not really surprised, but everyone was great, like Pedri, the front three in the first half were absolutely brilliant. Thanks for all your support, as usual, really do appreciate it. The next match we will be playing in the league away. Probably more importantly, we'll be having a look at what players have come back, what players potentially we could sell, which includes Herrera, and what regens are going to be available that we could potentially sign or bring up through the youth squad. So join me next time, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.